Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I got home from work today to one, two, three wax packages. It was a good day. And you're going to see this intro three times because I feel like it's necessary to know that I bought a lot of wax. I have an order from K's, I have an order from Zape, and I have an order from Destination Wax. Two of my favorite vendors, and one new to me vendor. So without further ado, let's get into it. I am going to be filming all of these videos unboxing style. You'll see the same candle, same outfit, because it is 10 o'clock at night and I am filming all of these videos in a row. So, my first package is from the Zape Christmas collection, or as she calls it, her holiday collection. I love that Zape does holiday collection, um, spring collection, you know, fall collection, or spooky collection. I love that. So as always, the box is beautiful with candy cane stripes that says, thank you. And then there's a card on top that says, oh hi gorgeous, experience happiness through scent. Thank you. You are amazing for supporting small business. Drew, love you, A, which is Ashley, the owner of Zape. So, we have some fun squiggly worms that I'm going to give to the cats. And it looks like we just have lots of stuff. So, the first thing that I noticed, I got a lot of her wax shapes this time instead of scoops. And the reason why... I love the strength of scoops, and it's not just Ashley's wax. I love the strength of scoops. I love how easy they are to scoop out. I found I love the freezer method when it comes to wax and to removing wax out of your warmers. And if you don't know what that means, it's taking the dish, once it's cool, popping it in the freezer, I leave them in overnight, wax pops out in one piece. No matter how long you leave it in the freezer, scoopable wax does not pop out of the dish. So, therefore, I ordered shapes. So the difference between scoops and shapes is obviously this is a harder wax and they're shapes. So I ordered 15 sets of shapes, two body care items. So the first I have is Tinsel Town, and this is Sweet Caramel Cider, cider and Fir Tree Lined Streets. Ooh. And these, I'm not gonna pull out every shape, but it is these two-tone little stars with some glitter. Oh, this smells so good. So the first thing I smell is the caramel cider. However, I do get a slight Christmas tree scent, but the Christmas tree in here is really, really sweet and sugary. That's really nice. I picked some favorites, but then I also picked some ones that are brand new to me. And I'm not sure if this is brand new this year, but it is brand new to me. And I have wax on my nose. It's really nice. Like I said, I definitely get like that warm caramel apple blended with the um, the Christmas tree. The next is hashtag red cup season. I love this scent. I have got this before. This is espresso, peppermint, mocha, Uggs, and leggings. And this smells just like a peppermint mocha. Really strong on the chocolate, a hint of the coffee, and a whole lot of goodness. And these are her beautiful brittles. I love her brittle shapes. I love her wax shapes in general. Ooh, I was excited about these. This is Under the Mistletoe, and these are these beautiful two-tone snowflakes. This is Mistletoe Berries and Christmas Smooches. Not a fan of this one, I'll be honest. It's like, it's definitely like a like a like a mistletoe berry, and I don't know if it's like, I mean, Christmas smooches is just something cute, but yeah, it's kind of like like the current or like that like holly berry note. I don't know. Not the biggest fan. Um, mistletoe berries is what I assume it is, but I love the shapes. I of course will melt them, but right now it's not my vibe. This, I didn't even look at the description. I purely ordered them based on the shapes. This is called Snowball Fight. I'm obsessed. You have a big snowflake and a bunch of little snowflakes. So obviously, the little snowflakes will be a melt, and then the big snowflake I'll cut into pieces. 
This is crisp winter air, fireplace smoke, and hints of crushed candy canes. I think I'm going to love this because I love peppermint. Ah, this is really cool. And if you see, like, dust flying, it's this, like, residue from the packing paper. Oh my gosh, is this amazing, you guys. You get a hint of that smoky fire with a little bit of that peppermint, like the candy cane, but it's really sweet. You definitely can tell this is cozy and warm. Oh, that's nice. Crisp winter air. It just adds like this fresh, balsamy air type of scent. I love this. This is going to be great, like it says, snowball fight, when it's super cold outside and you just want to relax outside, inside knowing you don't know how, do not have to go out in the snow. Snowball fight is a winner. Ginger nog. This is a new one this year. This is creamy eggnog, gingerbread cookies, and vanilla frosting. And they're these really pretty like bell shapes. I love gingerbread. And I was saying in my last video, I'm just starting to get into eggnog. This is nice. Okay. So what do we have? Eggnog, gingerbread, and vanilla frosting. I pick up on the gingerbread, but it's not super spicy. You know how some vendors have zucchini bread, and the zucchini bread isn't super spicy? That's how I feel with this. It's like gingerbread, but a really nice, like a ginger cookie, like a gingerbread cake almost. With, um, with, uh, with decadent vanilla frosting. That is exactly what that smells like. That's a yummy one. I have Sleigh Ride, which I did have last year. Loved this. It's like a burnt red color on the bottom, or burgundy, gray, and then a little bit of glitter, snowflake. And Sleigh Ride is marshmallows, peppermint, and pine trees. <sighs> Definitely more emphasis on the pine tree. The peppermint is really slightly in the background, mixed with the marshmallow, really makes it like a creamy, sweet, decadent. Oh, I love that Christmas tree scents can be blended with so much that aren't just Christmas tree. I love them. And then we have fuzzy socks, so the same color combo, but little stockings. And this is spiced cider, vanilla sugar, Winter Storms, Clove, and Allspice. Hmm. This is amazing. It reminds me of Wassel. Like the drink. Because you get like, like an orangey, clovey, like a, like a mulled cider. What's it? Winter Storms. I'm not really sure, but this definitely smells like a, it definitely, definitely smells like a really warm mulled cider, like Wassel. That's good. Oh gosh, they got a little crushed, but this is Nutcracker, these little gingerbread guys. And this is Smoky Winter Air, Fresh Snow, and Cinnamon Spiced Cider. It's that fresh snow. That I, it almost comes across like it's it's that type of it's that type of like piney balsamy scent that I'm not the biggest fan of. I like like sugared spruce and I like like fir tree and like birch, but it's almost like that balsam. If you like balsam scents, I think you would like this. It's like a very spiced, warm balsam. But for me, not a winner. Cindy Lou Who, and it's one of her iconic little cake slices. And this is peppermint, vanilla bean, and pink sugar crystals. I do love this scent. I'm going to pull this out because it's just too adorable not to. Look at that fun piece of wax. I love Cindy Lou Who. Oh, Shantae, stop it. Shantae, enough. Ugh, it is like pink sugar, peppermint, delicious. It's like 
it's it's very similar if you've smelled like pink peppermint from vendors like that mix of pink sugar and peppermint the pink sugar takes the peppermint and almost turns it into like a candy fragrance mmm that's decadent love my sample is in blankets by the fire and it's a little light bulb I've talked about this in my empties I used it up last month I don't think I repurchased that this year it's nice it's like a very like wool sweater type of scent and then I got elf cookies, and this is sugar cookie dough, almond macarons, and vanilla buttercream frosting. I also love these shapes from her, her like crackers. And this is like a very, it smells just like, okay, this is a Pittsburgh thing, Prantles Burnt Almond Torts. If you're familiar with them, it's like a, like a burnt almond cake. Not, and it smells just like it, like where you take the almonds, and they're roasty and toasty and sugary. And you put it on like an almond cake with rich, fluffy buttercream icing. That's my first time trying elf cookies. It's not going to be my last. I might have to order some clamshells in this just to always have it on hand. Bad Santa. I have a scoop from last year. This sent you guys. Fireplace embers, Christmas trees, and cinnamon stick. Totally not a scent I would ever think I would like. But it's so good. It's like that red hot cinnamon, but blended with the Christmas tree and the fireplace. It turns this scent into heaven. Like, I don't think I could ever imagine um, body care in this. Like, this is definitely a home fragrance, but if I walked into a man's house during the holidays and he, his house smelled like this, winner. Which means, Ashley, I need some candles in Bad Santa because give it to a man and make his house smell amazing. Grinch cookies. I never had this in wax, but I did have, yes I did. I had it in scoops. Scratch that. I did have it in body care. Sugar cookies, peppermint candy, and Whoville cheer. And this is a fun shape. This is like a little heart bunt with little hearts in it. Peppermint sugar cookies. Like, that's one of my favorite candles from Bath & Body Works every year for Christmas. This is the second year. Peppermint sugar cookies. Like, and I know this, I don't want this, this is not a knock at Ashley or Zape or anything, but it smells like, I like it that way. Like those really cheap, like, um, sugar cookies, and you buy the slices, and you put like crushed candy canes on the top. Heaven. And then I have Elves Who Brunch. And I didn't realize you would get three of these. These are like little waffle heart shapes. And this is buttermilk pancakes, maple syrup, buttery toast, eggs, and bacon. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. It's not that I don't like it, it's that it legit smells like brunch. Like, it smells like maple pancakes, butter, and eggs and bacon. Like, you straight up get bacon and eggs mixed with maple pancakes. Okay, I, I'm going in with an open mind on this one because I think when you melt it, it will come out and like it'll smell truly like you're making you know brunch but I don't think I realized I didn't really read the description of it to be honest I just like the shape eggs and bacon if you want unique wax elves who brunch is unique don't tell you if it's good or bad unique yet I'll figure that out oh I thought I had I thought it was done with wax, but apparently it wasn't. Christmas Cobbler. And there's these three little coins. Spiced apple, baked peaches, and buttery pie crust. So an apple peach pie. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, you guys. This is so good. 
This is so good. It legit smells like an apple peach pie. Like I smell the apple, like baked apple. I smell like warm peaches and pie crust. I love this. And no, I'm not a baker, but maybe I'll make an apple peach pie one day. And I hope it smells exactly like I think it does with this wax. Love. My nose is still trying to fathom that scent. The next I have Caramel Praline Latte. Sweet caramel, sugared pralines, and freshly brewed espresso. Well, let's just say that the chestnut praline latte is like my favorite drink from Starbucks. No, like my cat is so vocal tonight. I'm so sorry. She's like, Drew, play with me instead of making videos. You've been gone all day. Ah, oh, I love it. I will say, if you're a big coffee fan, coffee is not the dominant note in here. It's definitely the praline. It's definitely a very, very nutty coffee. Oh, that's good. It's definitely a very, like, nutty, creamy coffee scent. And I think that's it for wax. And then, yeah, that's it for wax. And then I picked up two body care items. I just got the whip soaps this year because I knew that I loved her whip soaps. And not that I don't like her like lotions and stuff. I just don't use lotion as much. And I said this before, like I just love her whip soaps, the perfect amount of hydration. And this year, the packaging of Zape's body care 10 out of 10, like impeccable. Her attention to detail, these glossy red labels, obsessed. And this is in Cindy Lou Who. I'm not gonna open this just because I smell the wax. I know what it smells like, pink sugar, peppermint, vanilla. I'm gonna save this because I'm working on my Halloween one and I'm weird with body care. I don't like to open things up fresh until I'm ready to use them. But love, love, love her whip soaps if you've never tried them. They're this really rich, creamy consistency. And I know Emily was talking about in her video, she was wondering if they lather on a loofah. Absolutely. Take two scoops full, put it on a loofah, get it going. Amazing lather. Your skin feels so decadent afterwards. And then I picked up Yuletide Carols. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this one, just because it sold out super fast. This was, I think she had leftover oil from last year couldn't get it from the supplier so she only had a little bit left hence the white label um but it's like a christmas trees and cream scent which i'm super excited about and then ashley is the best so she sells these flip tops and i guess it would work better if it's on the cap itself oh and i just I literally just broke it. Good thing she sent me another one. Live camera, right? So I'm not gonna test it for you, but you replace your cap in the shower with this guy so you can flip it open, scoop it, and shut it again. And these are like airtight seals, which is nice because when you're wet and slippy in the shower and you can't necessarily open these, they're great and they're reusable so you know you can keep using them over and over again. Or you can be like me and pop the freaking thing off and break it. Thank you, Ashley, for sending these to me. You can order them. I think they're like two bucks on her site. Totally forgot to order one, but she threw one in for me. And yeah, and then it also, nope, that's it. Just a bunch, a bunch of paper. But yeah, definitely check out Zape if you have not. I will leave my referral link down below. It's not a commission or anything like that. You get $5 off and I get $5 off my next order, but you guys can make one too. It's not like special to me or anything. Definitely check it out. Check out her body care, please. Check out her wax. I love her stuff. I order, I try to order from every collection now and it just makes me super happy. So definitely check her out. I'll leave all the links to her Facebook group, her website, my link down below. Don't forget to hit that bell in the corner to subscribe. That way every time I'm uploading in this place, you'll get alerted. Be kind and make it a better world. I love you guys. Bye.